Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're continuing our look at Jesus' discourse on the final days. That's the entirety of Matthew 24. And today we're looking at verses 15 through 28. So uh, here's what Jesus continues in saying. So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place, let the reader understand, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let the one who is on the housetop not go down to take what is in his house and let the one who is in the field not turn back to take his cloak. And alas for women who are pregnant and those who are nursing infants in those days, pray that your flight may not be in winter or on the Sabbath. For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now, no, and never will be. And if those days had not been cut short, no human being would have be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there he is, don't believe it. Uh, you know, for false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. So if they say to you, look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. If they say, look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and shines as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. So just a couple of thoughts just to preface this, and I repeat these all the time. Two things for certain on the end times. Number one, we don't know when Jesus is coming. And number two, we have to be ready. Okay, those are absolutes. We don't know, but we have to be ready. We have to be found faithful as faithful servants when he, when he comes. So two takeaways from today's passage. First of all, can I just tell you that the end will be terrible? I mean, it's just gonna be awful. Uh, and, and a lot of people wanna argue about what these different signs mean and what they relate to. And I'm not gonna get into all that. So if you're disappointed, I'm sorry. But uh, here's the thing, the end is gonna be really, really terrible. And if you think it, the world is bad now, you ain't seen nothing yet. So praise God for your comfort and for your safety and for the blessings that you have because what Jesus is describing for those who belong to God is gonna be terrible, okay? Terrible, uh, worse than you've ever imagined. So uh, that's first one. Secondly, Jesus coming is obvious. He warned us about false prophets and false messiahs who are gonna do great things. And people are gonna say, look, the, you know, Jesus is out in the wilderness. So look, Jesus is in this place. And he's just like, don't believe it. Just don't believe it. I'm not gonna come in secret and weak like the first time. The second coming is gonna be obvious. So get this, when Jesus comes again, it's gonna conclude history as we know it, okay? Everything that has been up to this point, that'll, that'll be the stopping point. Just as we measure history by Jesus' birth, history is gonna conclude by Jesus' return. Uh, so that's first of all. And then secondly, Jesus returns as king and judge in a very obvious way, obvious way. You know, as lightning shines across the sky, so we're gonna know that Jesus is back. And, uh, and I gotta stop here because otherwise I'm gonna give away tomorrow's word for the day. But let me just close with this. Uh, when you read things about the end times, don't be discouraged, be encouraged because we win, can't lose if you belong to Jesus. And secondly, heaven is next for us. Whether you die before Jesus comes back or Jesus comes back uh, before you die, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you go through in this world because the best is yet to come. Be encouraged by that and be found faithful because we wanna be ready when Jesus comes again.